enjoy. Hi guys, so I feel like I'm recording a YouTube video. So I'm at the gym now <clears throat> and Mondays are like my leg days. So I'm gonna record myself doing my leg day workout. Um, yeah, Mondays are leg days, but Mondays I focus heavily on quads because then Wednesday and Friday are like my glute focus days. So I'm just gonna take you guys with me to the gym. I don't think I've ever taken you guys with me to the gym at a Lagos gym because I'm currently in Nigeria. So yeah, let's go and work out and I'll take you guys through my workout. Morning. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with some squats. I can't even remember how many sets I did of these, but um, this is like my warm-up set. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so I'm just really going for death hair. Um, yeah, like I feel like squats are pretty self-explanatory, but um, my stance is a little bit wider because um, I'm making these a little bit more glute focused than quad focused. So that's that. Um, added in another... 45 so i'm doing 245s on each side added my belt still going down for death as you guys can see i'm not gonna lie afterwards i started getting tired i don't know if i filmed it but um i'm doing about i can't even remember maybe eight or ten reps in between i don't want to exhaust myself because again these are my warm-ups um, so yeah, I'm going into B stance RDLs here. So I kind of supersetted these with my um, elevated lunges. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you guys the other angle of the B stance RDLs. Um, the key to doing RDLs so your lower back is not hurting is make sure you're keeping your neck down and making sure you're bringing your hips out, like not hinging, but like bringing them out. Maybe I'll just do another video but on that, but yeah. So we're gonna get into elevated lunges here. So I've added these to my, I've always done different variations of lunges, but I've been adding these elevated or just typical reverse lunges in my workout for like about a month and a half now. And I just really love them. Um, I noticed I didn't really go quite as heavy today um i don't know like i don't know what what was up but i did it but for these i'm doing four sets eight each leg the first two sets i did them elevated and then once i got heavy i just did them normal because i'm not about to fall down at this gym um uh, if you don't want to go as high for the elevation you can just um use the normal plate put your foot on that that's what i normally do okay so that is that y'all i am tired what <sighs> lord jesus okay here um ooh, if for my girlies if you really want those quads to pop you really want to be a muscle mommy you need to start doing your hack squats like this i can't even explain like just how much quads are emphasized in this but yeah so here, I'm not going as heavy, so I'm doing 10 reps um, each. Normally when I go heavier, I'm like six to eight, but y'all, the burn is so, 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 so real. Like, I can't even explain. And then I'm super setting these with some um, good mornings. I think the good mornings will vary just how your hack squat is set up. Like, um, I've noticed that different gyms have different setups for the hack squat, but yeah, you can do this if you're not comfortable with freeway good mornings or the Smith machines. This is another way to do good mornings. And I did this for four reps of 15 here. So I'm just finishing that off. And then my next exercise, um, I just did some sumo squats, but more abduct ab abductor focus. I think that works the inner thighs. So head down, back, slightly bent, and I'm just really going low. You can do these elevated as well. I really like these. Um, so yeah, I throw them in. I do these for quad days, and I throw in the glute-focused ones for glute days. But, you know, so this is towards the end of my workout. 
none of the cable machines and the Smith machines were occupied. So I'm doing, um, I guess, single leg press on the dip machine. This workout, this works out your glutes. So um, I went heavy on the weights like three times and I did 15. So I think y'all will see me go heavy. Let me tell you something. Sour worms while you're working out. Am I the only one that eats candy when they're working out? Like if I need that sugar pump? Am I? Am I? Y'all let me know. But yeah, water break because I've just been drinking a whole lot of water lately during my workouts. I don't know. If it's the cup that's making me drink the water, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm loving it. So yeah, here I went a little bit heavier. You can notice that my legs are much more slower. And when you want to do this, you want to make sure that your legs are controlled and you're going slow, like eccentric. You don't need to do these really fast because you want to feel them. Then here, I'm doing some kettlebell swings with the highest dump, but the highest kettlebell that they have in this gym, which is only like 18 pounds. Why? I have no idea, but I did these for three sets of 15. Then I'm going into leg extensions. So I put my um, feet inwards like this to really get that aesthetic effect towards my kneecap. I don't know what that's called. And then I alternate that or superset that with um, single leg focused and y'all this is like a really really good burnout I don't know if y'all can tell by my face but yeah I was like I think I was like dead after this workout like I was done like yeah I was done is it really a workout if you don't take selfies or videos after so I'm done with my workout let's go get ready to make this post-workout meal Okay, so I'm back home and I need to log into work soon, but I made a protein shake and I'm trying to make lunch so I don't have to enter into the kitchen again until dinner time. So I have some rice boiling for my post-workout. So for my post-workout meal, I'm thinking like a shrimp stir fry yeah i feel like you can never go wrong with like a stir fry and then i feel like i'm gonna top it off with a fried egg because we want the protein babes because we want the protein babes yes um so let me like i just have a thing about protein shakes like it just takes me so long i made this protein shake like almost 30 minutes ago it just takes me so long to actually drink them like, I just prefer, like, the packaged ones already that you just toss in the fridge or whatever, and you drink them. Like, if I have to start blending my protein shakes, we're in for a long thing. So, yeah, let me down this protein shake, and then, yeah, let's start cooking.
Oh yeah, I just ended up doing a beach side side because the temp that I bought from ShopRite was looking way too weird. And it was literally dis disintegrating into the pan. I was like, yeah, no, nah, I can't eat that. I always keep a spare. So yeah, we're doing beef stir fry. Um, and it turned out really, really good. So keep, well, stay tuned and see how that turned out. <laughs> and I think I'm done talking here. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.